Hi, this is Derek from Toby Wagons and I'm here to show you how to put a wagon together. I've been getting a lot of people asking, have we got it on video? So firstly, I'll start by opening up the box and laying it all out in here in front of me. So what we have is we have your four pieces of wood, two for the side, two for each end, four wheels, the tray, and then these metal parts which make up the part of the axle. And we'll be putting those together very shortly. And you have eight small nuts and bolts. Now you'll note that these have plastic on the inside. And what they are is they are locking nuts and bolts so they'll never come loose. You have four pins, four washers. Now we normally have six in the pack but only four are needed so you can either keep or discard the other two. Four caps for the wheels. Ten larger nuts and bolts, and again they have the locking nut. One large nut and bolt, and then we have this one. So now let's just put one together very quickly. Now, in order to put it together, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 inch ratchet. And that screwdriver there was bought in a pound shop. So, very simple. So now what we do is our first piece we're going to put is this and it's like an octopus with four legs and we're going to put it underneath there and just bolt that in. So now put the bolt through it and then underneath the washer and the nut. And as I said, they're locking nuts so they will hold. So just get one of them, just get it attached there. And then just get a 10 inch ratchet and we're going to screw that tight. Now if you just notice that there's a bulge and that goes top to bottom on this bulge. So what I'll do is I'll put these together and then we'll come and we'll see how it looks then. So they're all tightened in very simply and because as I said they will not come loose. So nextly what you do is you have two of these. Now what they do is your first one slips underneath and then just use your hand and it'll fit into the slotted space there. Now this is a little bit tricky, but this is the only tricky part to it. Then get the nut through it, and I find this is the easiest way. Get that there. Put the other, and then again it has a little slot it fits into. Get the nut. And you just need to hand tighten that. It doesn't need to be too tight to allow for steady steering. And then once the pin is inserted and bent back, that nut and bolt ain't gonna go anywhere. So now we'll move on and we'll start the other part. So now we're gonna add the back axle. Now, this could be tricky. If you have somebody to help you, it's a little bit easier, but all you have to do is, you just have to hold that in and then put the washer and the nut and then tighten it and then get one of these arms put the arm over again line it up put the screw up through it the washer and the nut do that repeat for the other side and then we'll just tighten them up three now you have your waxel or your axle all done on your um, wagon. So now just very simply attach the wheels. So what you do is you put the wheel over, just slides on. Then you have the gap. What you do is put a washer and then there's a hole there and you put one of these cotter pins down. And once you put the cotter pin down, bend it back and that wheel is held fast. And you don't need to do anything other than putting a cap on. Now you might find a little pliers handy when you're putting those, but not essential. So I'll just do the other three wheels and then we'll finish it off. Great. So now all four wheels are on and the wagon is, is essentially made. So all we're gonna do is we'll get our wooden pieces, put the bolt through there, comes out there and then we just seal it off and then the other
other side. Put the and then the nut. And these again are the tightening nuts. Ain't gonna come loose. So I'll tighten them up. I'll do the two sides and the front. Then we'll just put the handle on, and that's us finished. So now I'm just tightening up the last of these. Just the spanner holds it tight while the screwdriver. There. So last one is the very longest nut and bolt we had. We just use that. And that then just attaches the handle. So go through the hole, in through the handle, out the other side. And then we just we don't need to tighten that too much to allow for play, but once we tighten it a little bit, it's never going to come loose. So there go. That's even enough. You can tighten it more if you want, but even that will hold it. And then there we go. There's one Toby, all terrain wagon, finished, ready for action.